Has this ever happened to you? You open your laptop, you log in, you grab your favorite USB drive, you plug it in, and unknown partition. So now what do you do? What do you do? So there could be a lot of tools online that you'll find and you'll Google some recovery software and then you might pull up a lot of the recovers and all the other ones and uh, and the ones I covered in my other video. But I'll give you a list of the ones you should probably be using and the ones the professionals use like me. So I mean, we trust these tools for a reason because they're good. Um, you know, there's uh, home edition so you don't have to buy the pro version which is pretty expensive. Um, so yeah, so let's get right into it. So. Let's go over to my computer and let's go have a look. So the first one that uh, I would recommend, it's probably the, the cheapest and one of the easiest to use. So there's a pro version and there is a home version. So um, for like for the basic home user, I think this would be the best. Uh, it's quite easy to use and it's not too expensive. So uh, Reclaim is uh, it's, it's, a, it's a Russian software as most of these are anyways. Uh, um, so I did, it can handle a lot of different file systems, including the, the more obscure ones and and things like that. So um, if you look at the purchase price for this one, um, it's about $80 um, and they update it quite frequently. So you'll get updates and all that stuff. And I think they have support as well. The another one that I would recommend would be um, uh, their pro version. Uh, the pro version is, uh, let me see if I can find it. I think it's a different website altogether. Yeah, Reclaim Pro. So this is a pro version. Uh, this one, it's about $800. So I mean, if you're running a company, it probably makes more sense to buy this one. Um, but if, if it's just for basic data recovery, uh, I would recommend Reclaim Me. Um, here it is here. I have it on this computer. I don't have all of these that I'm going to show on this computer, but I have most of them. See, every time you launch it, you might get an update. Uh, so it usually scans for your hardware, all that stuff. Uh, and it also works, well, most of these will work with Gardonics or USB stabilizers. Stay tuned, this uh, video on the Gardonics and USB stabilizers coming up uh, hopefully after New Year's. I, I had plans to get it out earlier, but unfortunately, uh, because uh, some things came up, I didn't have a chance to, um, to get to it. But I think because I launched Gardonic, they kind of screwed up Reclaimy. Well, <laughs> that's great for YouTube video. Let's launch it again. So yeah, so this is launching. So yeah, Reclaiming is pretty good. I'm gonna say no to this. Um, like I said, they have um, support and all that stuff, and you can pay with PayPal and Visa and uh, your usual um, methods of payment. Let's just hit cancel on this. So you see, this is the interface. So uh, you can choose the disk, and then you can just hit start, and it will start scanning. And at the very beginning, it will stop, and then. Uh, you can kind of see the file system and if, if you don't see what you want then you can hit uh, continue and then continue to scan so that's the first one we're claiming okay next uh, next one is get data back from run me software um, this is another one that's uh, pretty good this is actually really good with uh, if you have fat 32 uh, and xfat uh, file systems i find this one be probably be the best for fx fat 32 and xfat um, Sometimes I had some uh, some drives that were just uh, beyond repair, and I was able to run uh, uh, get data back, and I got what I needed. Uh, I don't know what the cost is for this one. I think you have to email them. Let me see here. Um, yeah, I think you have to email them, but this one's not very expensive. Uh, but this one's also pretty good. Like I said, they have different different uh, uh, products. They have the RAID reconstructor, and then go, going back to Reclaim Me, they also have a, a RAID software as well. But anyways, they have the RAID reconstructor, they have the Captain Nemo, uh, what else they have? NAS recovery, uh, drive image, so they have a lot of different tools um, uh, you can purchase from them and try. And most, this one you can get a demo version, you can play around with it first before you purchase it, so, um, so that's always good. Okay. The next one is RStudio. This is, uh, now we're getting to the more professional tools. So RStudio is really good because RStudio, if you get the pro version, you can connect to DeepSpark Imager um, remotely. So um, this will be expensive if you get the uh, technician ver version, but if you uh, go with just a regular Windows, Mac, or Linux version, 
um, then it's only 50 bucks I think this is in Canadian Canadian pesos too so um, so that's uh, that's a pretty good price so the, the one you want is R studio for Windows but like I said it's Mac and Linux version um, I've used the Linux version I've used the Mac version uh, depending on what I'm doing but uh, they also have other tools uh, drive image, uh, wipe and clean, and um, some other stuff. So definitely, this one's worth checking out. This will be, I mean, if if you're doing data recovery professionally, this is probably the one you should have to begin with. Um, uh, so yeah, R Studio from R ttcom or R Studio.com. Next is Raise Data Recovery. I don't particularly use this very often. I think I have the demo. I never purchased this one before. They have a demo, just like most of these tools that I'm showing. They all have a demo version you can play with and see if it fits uh, what you need. Um, so this one I think is made by Sysdev. I think Sysdev is the one that makes my next tool on my list. Uh, Sysdev is pretty good. Um, so yeah, they they make raise data recovery. So this is another one. Uh, I think this is still pretty easy to use if you're to use it um, I think you just uh, select the drive and go next 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 and I should mention as with most data recovery software if you are going to use it as you're recovering the data do not write back to the drive you're recovering from because you're just gonna make it worse you're gonna lose the data um, you're trying to recover so always uh, recover to another target drive somewhere on the computer on another hard drive or or if you're recovering from a USB drive, recover to your hard drive and vice versa. Never recover back to the drive you are uh, trying to recover. Okay, next one on the list, and this is this is a really good one too. I use this quite often, uh, UFS Explorer. This is also from the same company that made the other one, uh, uh, Ray's Data Recovery I was just talking about. So they have many different products. They have uh, uh, the RAID edition, they have the network RAID and uh, standard recovery and video recovery. and they even have one for DVRs. Um, the support is here great. I was once I had a very complicated recovery I couldn't figure out on my own, and uh, I used their support and they loved it remotely. They were able to help me, so I mean it's no shame in that. Uh, can be an expert in everything, right? Uh, so yeah, they're pretty good. Um, how much is it? I know I have the I have the uh, pro version, which is I think 600 euros. Um, but I think the how much is it now? Yeah, it's 600 euros. Uh, I don't know if they have a home edition. I don't think they do. Um, they might not. I think maybe this is why this raised the recovery. I don't know. I, anyways, I, I use the pro version at 600 euros. Um, and I also have the raid edition, which is also another six seven hundred euros. So UFS Explorer is another one that's really worth getting. Okay, next and last on my list. Is DMDE this one will be the most complicated one? Uh, this one's not very easy to use if if you don't know much about file systeming and, and data recovery or things like that. This might be a little bit um, uh, challenging. I mean, it's still simple to use, but this one is very good. I, I mean, as a professional, you should have them all, anyways. Um, but DMD is really good, and this is probably the cheapest one. Uh, you can buy this for I think twenty bucks. Yeah, so one year is twenty dollars if you want to buy it. Um, think they have another version, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, they don't. But anyway, this is what it looks like. As you can see it's very simple, nothing crazy. Uh, you choose your drive and then you scan it. Uh, uh, but this one's really good too. I do recommend this one if you're on a budget and <laughs> you really all you can afford is twenty dollars. Then I guess uh, DMD would be. Uh, the best thing to choose so that would be it for all my uh, different software that I recommend for data recovery uh, whether it's just the one USB drive you have an issue with and this is all for logical recovery this is nothing not for drives that are failing or or USB sticks that are not showing up at all because the controller failed and this is just simply for logical recovery if you deleted some files or drive shows up as uh, um, raw not formatted or, or you format your drive by accident as long as it's not an SSD as you saw in my previous video then um, this one definitely um, uh, one of these tools will definitely help you uh, some of these like I said the R Studio has some advanced features so before I go um, I do want to um, have some of you and go to reddit and there's a subreddit that I'm a part of um, 
it's here uh, called Ask a Data Recovery Pro. I'll link all these tools and the subreddit uh, below. Uh, there's some really smart people there. Uh, I'm on the, I'm uh, listed here as the technician. So you can see me. I'm right here. So um, definitely um, come there if you need help. Uh, they'll point you in the right direction. If you need someone local to you for data recovery, they'll point you in the right direction. So um, you have all the tools listed here. Uh, but yeah, so reddit.com slash r slash ask a data recovery pro. Uh, check that subreddit out. Anyways, that will be it for this video. I will try to have another one soon. I know I want. I need to review the Gardonics and USB stabilizer. I've gotten it from uh, uh, DeepSpire uh, two months ago as a review unit and I really had no time to put it together. So I just started filming it. Um, I have half of it filmed already. It's just I haven't got a chance to put it together. Uh, I need one more um, item for this video to be done. I need a specific uh, USB controller, which I've ordered and it just got um, delayed. So I'm just waiting for that to come through. Um, so hopefully, um, sometimes in January, I'll have that video out. Uh, you can see on my screen that it is here. Uh, it's I'll, I'll give you, I'll tell you exactly what it does. So it basically isolates the whatever you plug into it, whether it's a hard drive or a USB. And it, uh, and if it's failing, if it's got some kind of instability, the Gardonics itself or the USB stabilizer will actually stabilize the, uh, uh, the the reading procedure, so you can use any of your favorite um, recovery software. There's other things we can do as well. You can plug it into other recovery tools. So there's a lot there to unpack. So this is definitely not in this video, but it will be in the next. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys next year.